everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm actually doing a collaboration video. Her name is M. I'll put a link to her channel in the description, and I'll write her name on the screen as well. We, we decided we'd do a collaboration video, and we decided the theme would be The Fault in Our Stars. I, I will admit, I haven't yet seen the film, thoroughly enjoyed the book, don't want to ruin the book. Maybe see the film when it comes out on DVD, but I don't want to cry in a, in a cinema, because, you know, that would be embarrassing. My make on this theme is that they're actually like, I don't know if they're still around now, but when I was younger, child of the 90s, friendship necklaces were a thing. Some would have one that said best, and the other one would have something that said, that said friends. My best friends. But I decided to do it as okay. And okay. You see? You get the reference? Yeah. Hazel and Augustus, in the book, make the okay the thing. So I made the okays thinking that it could be you and your friends thing. And then if you don't have any friends, like me, well, we can be friends to start with, but you can just wear them together like this. So let's just get started with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so to get started, you are going to need some letters. These are just acrylic letters. Um, I got the black and the white, you know, and just some eye pins. Technically, you only need two eye pins, but I have extra. Um, it's quite a simple thing to make if you know how to do it. So I'm just going to give a quick demo on how to make a loop on an eye pin. So this is an eye pin. It's got a loop at one end already, so you don't have to worry about that end. And to make your loop at the other end, you thread all your beads on, or whatever you're threading on it. And you put it in your round nose pliers. Now you just twist it, twist it away from you, like that, so it's at a nice angle. And then this long tail bit, you then twist back over around these pliers. Rotate around these pliers, but you don't actually need to take them out at all. And then push the tail against it. And you have a loop. Now what you need to do is take your wire cutters and trim off the excess. So I find the best way to do this is by going in into the loop like this. Instead of cutting it off here, which will leave you an end, if you cut it off here, it should get you relatively close. And then you just grab your chain nose, give it a bit of a wiggle. There you go. I mean, it's not exactly the same as the other end, but I'm not a machine. So you just thread on your beads in the right order. So you need the O, and you need the K. Put the thread on, you need the A, and the Y. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> See what I did there? And so, nice and close to the top bead. Twist it away. Push it back over. It's a bit more difficult with beads on. Rotate. And pull the tail back round. And then snip off the tail. And then you just repeat the same same process for the second one. Well, that's the difficult bit done. You see? It wasn't that bad. I mean, if it takes you a few go, few tries, there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So then you need to grab your chain. Cool. So I have my tape measure. 
So the length I like my necklaces to be is about an 18 inch necklace. Just make a lot of noise, I'm minding my chain. Um, so clasp and such will probably add about half an inch or a couple of centimeters. Um, an 18 inch necklace I believe is 45 and a half centimeters. So if I measure this to 17 and a half, I know it will be slightly longer than an 18 inch because I'll be putting this in the middle of things. So 17 and a half inches. Snip. Oh, knock the camera. Good work, camera. And so there you have it. And then chop your length of chain in half. Snip. So then we've got all our findings. We've got a slight, slightly larger jump ring. You know, slightly smaller jump ring. It's a five mil, five millimeter, four millimeter, and a medium sized trigger clasp. So, taking one of our OKs, and then much like with the button earrings, if you watch that tutorial, you just twist this open. Twist. If you twist it open, it keeps its round shape that you just worked so hard to achieve. And you pop on your chain and you twist it back close the can. Try and get it as flush as you can against the other side. And then same with this side. And there you have your finished necklaces. So there we go. It wasn't as difficult as you probably thought it was. Hmm? If you do decide to make this necklace or one like it using this video, don't forget to take a picture of it with the hashtag the corner of craft on Instagram so I can check it out. Maybe feature you in a future video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit subscribe. You know, they're very close to each other. Stick around in the corner of craft. I post new videos every Thursday and every Sunday, so you'll see me twice a week. We do fun making things. It's fun. Also, don't forget to go over to M's channel. Go and subscribe to her. She makes some lovely things and she sings really well. I'll put a link in the description as well and an annotation on the screen. Yes, that was a bit creepy. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, I shall see you on Thursday for my next video, but until then, have a lovely week, and I shall see you all very soon. Bye!